One of the things about names, when you're, when you're a wee, tiny little writer just starting out, one of the things they teach you is uh, when you're writing a story, never give t two characters in a story uh, names that begin with the same letter because the reader will confuse them. And I followed that rule for many years, but uh, then when I was writing Ice and Fire, I said, wait a minute, I'm planning on having more than 26 characters. <laughs> what, what am I going to do here? Am I going to name them like X-Fred? Or uh? <laughs> so I decided to ignore that rule. In fact, I decided, reading history, I decided to go even further. If it's bad to name two characters, give characters names that start with the same letter, mm -hmm. it's really bad to give two characters of the same story the same name. <laughs> I looked at, you know, reading English history, which was inspiration for that. If, if you read English history, and you guys are Canadians, I presume you know a little of English history. <laughs> Everybody in it is named Edward and Henry. <laughs> it's really, you know, the history of England is a history of Edward and Henry. And occasionally Richard.